Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com. Today I will be talking about how to improve your photography game with your smartphone. Smartphones are becoming better and better at making photos and are extremely handy because they are so compact and you can carry them around all the time. So whenever you feel like making a picture, you can. Of course, there is still a big difference when it comes to real cameras making pictures, but sometimes you can barely tell the difference. So let's talk on how to make some awesome pictures with your smartphone so you can post some amazing photos of your journeys online. By the way, if you're interested in following my photography or behind the scenes, definitely follow me on Instagram at Ines Alea. All right, so tip number one for making better photos. A smartphone comes with a standard lens and depending on the phone, you might have a decent quality lens or a bad quality lens. I, for example, have the Samsung S8 Plus, which is absolutely amazing in making photos for a smartphone. It's incredible. But if you try to vary some kind of lenses that you can find online uh, to improve your photo styles. For example, I have these lenses from Camkix, which you can check out with link in the description. They are actually really inexpensive and amazing. It comes with a new case for your phone where you can mount your lenses too. They have a lot of variation when it comes to smartphone cases for different phones. The lenses allow you to zoom in to get a different type of view without the quality loss of a digital zoom, which is really cool. For example, the biggest difference is this zoom lens, which looks absolutely badass if you ask me. It allows me to zoom in at an extreme amount like you can see in the examples right now. Of course, the edges get distorted a little bit, but I kind of like the style, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Then I have this wider lens, which widens my field of view, and this fisheye lens, which is really popular for sports like skateboard videos. It gives that close-by feel, which is cool, uh, depending on the style you want to go for. All right, so tip number two, try to shoot raw in professional mode if your smartphone allows it. For this, you will need some knowledge on how a camera actually works because the professional mode or app that you will be using uh, for more manual settings is comparable to the settings of a real camera. So you will have to know what ISO, aperture and shutter means before using these settings, of course. Shooting raw means that the photo you take will consist of more information than what you see on your image, meaning that if you would like to manipulate your photo afterwards, you will be able to pull back more information than a regular JPEG photo. For example, if you have an overexposed area in your photo, with a normal photo you won't be able to fix this, with a raw photo you will be able to pull back all that information so it doesn't look overexposed and your sky, for example, will still look awesome. Tip number three, use sunglasses or any kind of dim glass to stylize your shot or to actually make sure that your image doesn't get overexposed. Like when you're shooting on a sunny day with an overexposed sky, use your sunglasses in front of your lens and you should get a better image. You can also try other kind of glass and put it in front of your lens. It's going to change the style dramatically and you can get some really creative shots this way. Tip number four is to take care of composition and lighting. I know this is pretty basic and this has nothing to do with your smartphone, but knowing how to compose an image is actually a make or break of your photo. If it's an amazing composition with great lighting, it could actually look like a professional photo made with a camera. So try to shoot on sunsets, uh, sunrises. These are the absolute most important times of the day. So learn all about composition and lighting. Make sure you don't make your photos in a dark situation because smartphones can't handle the dark that well. Try to stand close to a window when photographing inside so you are well lit. If you happen to shoot on the street in the evening, for example, try to find a street light and use that as a source of light to light your subject. And these small things are all going to brighten up your images and it's going to make it look a lot more professional. Tip number five is to use an app to edit your photos afterwards. All the professional photographers edit their photos. I prefer to use Lightroom which allows you to make your photos really, really stunning, especially if you're editing them from raw photos. All right, so that's it on how to improve your photography game using only your smartphone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Also, check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. Links will be in the description. And apart from that, I hope to see you in the next one. And goodbye.